Hey, hey, have you ever felt like, oh my God, I am not creating what I want because I'm having these negative thoughts or I am focused on this sad story or I'm like not able to feel high vibe right now? Well, this is the video for you. So I'm glad you're here. My name is Reverend Lunch Laney, also known as Macy, and this is Love Vibe TV, where I like to share a lot of different tips that help you create whatever it is you want in your life. I spend a lot of time creating videos to help people find a healthy, happy relationship. And what I know is that these tools are powerful for whatever you want in your life. And for me personally, these tools that I am sharing with you are the kinds of tools that take you from a status quo life to an extraordinary life. So let's dive in. I want to talk about those moments where you're in your thinking, you're like, yes, I want to create this amazing relationship. I want to call in X amount of money. I want to, you know, bring in this promotion, whatever the thing is. And you're finding yourself fall into the sad story. Sometimes those start with, yeah, but you know, it hasn't happened so far, or when is it going to happen? Or, well, I tried all these things, or I went on all these dates and well, online dating isn't working or well, nobody's signing up for my program. When you are underscoring these things, like, and you're repeating these and you're going into, you know, all of the ways that are not supporting you having what you want, then it can make, it makes me feel kind of paranoid sometimes. I'm like, oh my God, I'm, I'm not being positive or I'm not, you know, putting energy in the right place when I notice it. Sometimes I just get into a habit of that. And it's easy to do when we're used to looking at our 3D world, looking out at our world and making judgments about what we can or can't have from that. And that's not how it works. So one of the coolest things that I've learned from my teachers is that you can create your own rules. And one of the rules that I think is so valuable is to create one that I I'll put it up here. That is my sad stories don't man manifest. You could even say my negative thoughts don't manifest. And when you see that, you're setting the energy in your body to not lock into those things. And I noticed when I didn't have this as a rule that my sad stories don't manifest or my um, negative thoughts don't manifest, that it was almost like a magnifying response when I would find myself saying something that wasn't, you know, high vibe or focused on what it is I want to create. And then it would create kind of a spiral of, oh my God, I shouldn't be thinking like that. Oh no, I'm doing it wrong. And then this, this kind of banter in my head that created even more of what I didn't want. So when you have the rule set in your body where my sad stories don't manifest, none of my negative thoughts manifest, then if that comes up, then it's way more like it just kind of floats on by. If you decide, because what you decide is what your life is. So you decide what all things mean. 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 Really. And if you have decided that your negative thoughts are going to take you away and keep you from creating what you want, sometimes we're not even in a place where we recognize that. Like if you're new to creating your life consciously, then you may not even be aware when you're going into a sad story or a story that's more on the side of fighting for what you don't want or or trying to um, just, just create this space of 
well, that's what's really happening. So like almost like, you know, putting more belief on the thing you don't want and convincing yourself of why it's not possible. So if we are wanting to be a champion for our creation, if we're wanting to be the one that is um, consciously driving towards that goal, then the challenge can be that there are, you know, little blocks on the way that we can take as an actual block to stop us or let it be the end or take us off course. Or we can say, you know what, there's nothing, there's nothing bigger than my desire. There's nothing bigger than me as the creator of my life. So, okay, it looks like there's a block in front of me. And how do I get around that? Like, what else is possible? How can I step around it? If there's nothing greater than you as the creator, then there's no blocks ever. And I'm sure many of you are like, yeah, right. But you can do that too. That can be another way that you argue against yourself. So be aware of it. Are you arguing against what it is you know in your heart you want to create? Your mind is not going to be the space to go and say, okay, justify this for me because your mind only knows what it's known up until now. So when you're creating something even greater, that is something that is beyond the mind. So that's why creating these rules, my sad stories don't manifest or my negative thoughts don't manifest or, you know, I am 100% committed to creating my life through my desires, no matter what, and not giving up. That's the way that you will get there. And I promise you that if you are asking for it, if it's a desire within you, you can have it. It just may show up in a different way than you expect. Sometimes these barriers or these blocks direct us in a new direction that actually brings new information. So be aware that you get to create the space for you. And I'm inviting you through this video to know that none of your sad stories manifest. If you make the choice for that, if you decide that none of your sad stories manifest, that none of your negative thoughts manifest, then if they come up, it's okay. It doesn't have to be a problem. It's no longer a problem. What if you don't have to have problems? What if you only have possibilities? Like everything is a possibility. I love the question if, of if this weren't a problem, what would the possibility be? That's one I got from Access Consciousness World, and I love it. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you for being here. Know that you get to create your life, and um, how you love your life is your love life. So follow those amazing desires. Know that you are the most powerful being in your world, and you absolutely can have whatever it is that you desire. That's the super loved life, in my opinion. And I'm so glad you're here. So thanks for watching. If you like this, like, subscribe, share with your friends, bring all your other unicorn beings over here in this lovely unicorn pasture for creation and love and all of the good stuff. So thanks for being here. See you really soon. Bye.